Welcome back. If you've watched any of my other videos, you'll see this Diacro press brake featured in a lot of them. These hydraulic motors leak and what we're going to try to do today is see if we can fix a leak here. You'll notice this little drop of hydraulic oil is down here on the bottom and sometimes if you replace the shims on this collar you can get this leak to go away sometimes. So we're going to do that. It's a pretty simple process. I got these uh, shimming washers. You can probably see these here. They're 15 thousandths each. I'll get a graphic up that gives you a link to um, or a part number for these. Um, you know, made in China. Get them from McMaster Car. These are 15 thousandths each. So what we've got going on here is we've got about a sixteenth of an inch in here so we're going to cut this in half we're going to replace these shimming washers and bring this in there's a pack a shim or uh, a pack of seals in here that if you compress a little bit you can get lucky sometimes and you can make this leak go away the problem here is when the machine sits for a while air gets sucked in here and the fluid drains down, you get a lot of air in the system and you gotta run the machine to kind of get it out. So it's a half inch hex. So we'll, I loosened this up already. So we'll go ahead and get these bolts out. Take these out. I loosened the one on the other side just to kind of make things a little easier. We'll take that out. We'll do that. So we got that out. We'll go ahead. We'll pull this out. Get the shimming washers off. Oh, the other one fell out. Just as a heads up, you can't see it, but there's a groove in here. This is not flat. So anybody that has any ideas about putting a, a rubber seal in here is going to have to find one that's got a contour and one that'll, that'll seal up. It's not just a matter of figuring out a shim that you can put in here to, to make this pack tighten up. So just be on your guard for that. So let's go ahead here. We're going to use four of these shimming washers for a total of about 30 thousandths on either side. So here we go, we got, we got two washers. Go ahead and put those in. Put those in there. And we've got two washers here. Put those in there. So we'll turn this. Just kind of get that worked in there. kind of get this made up here a little bit. All right. Another thing you want to be careful about is that this piece here on the inside has got a bit of a chamfer on it. It's not an exact right angle and there's no chamfer on the hole that this piece goes into. So to take out these washers completely and make this up tight is not really an option. You got to have some space in there. And I'm kind of thinking that about 30 thousandths is about it. So go ahead here and Get this tightened up. Okay, so that tightens it up. Let's go around the other side and start the machine up. It's going to growl a little bit. It's going to have a little bit of air in here that we're going to have to get out. This machine has not been started 
in a couple of months, but let's go back around and get it started up and cycle it a little bit, get the air out of it. You can see here that we've put this collar in a little bit further. You can see a little bit of that shaft there that's been exposed. So hopefully that should uh, fix that leak. I'm going to let this machine sit now for a little while and I will report back via an update in the description and we'll see if this actually did fix that uh, leak on that side. I was able to successfully fix a leak on the other side with the same technique, so we'll see if it works on this side. So that's it. I hope this is helpful. Thanks for watching.